very young filmmaker, I think he was 26 at the time, uh, made a very special film, a film that really touched everyone's hearts. It's a film that brought a new grammar to Bollywood. It's a film that, um, that gave us a good laugh, but also gave us a good cry. And as Sharad was telling me earlier today, sometimes you really want a good cry, and it's true. Um, it, it also made heartbreak uh, feel like you know one of those experiences that you must have uh, so you can be a complete person. It's a beautiful film and it really stands the test of time. Um, it's a film we all love, am I right? Yeah. You know which film we're talking about. It is of course Kuch Kuch Hota Hai. And the filmmaker of course is Karan Dover. But before we speak to Karan and before I uh, you know, have him up on stage, um, I know the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra is going to actually do their version of the music from Kuch Kuch Hota Hai, which is just incredible. something that no one, like I didn't imagine it, my parents thought that I shouldn't enter this industry. They said that you're too weak for it, you're too uh, emotionally fragile to be a part of the movie business. But there were two men who had great faith in me, much more than I had in myself. Uh, one of them was Aditya Cho is Aditya Chopra, um, who helms Yashraj films now, and he turned around and told me, why are you doing anything else? You're melodramatic. Um, you're over the top. Uh, you cry at the drop of a hat. You should be a filmmaker. The other is the gentleman in the front row. Shall we find? Who I call? Who I call Pai? Uh, because over the years, over the years, the friendship went into family and the family went into sibling love and I truly believe that I've never had a sibling but he's the older brother I never had. Uh, looking out for me at every juncture of my life, being available to me at every emotional juncture of my life and he told me, I remember sitting on top of a hill uh, when Kajal and me were sitting and reminiscing about some childhood memory of ours and he said that you should do a film and if you make your first film I will be in it. And, uh, and this was when we were sitting shooting Tujay Dekha on, in a mountaintop in Switzerland and I thought he was a movie star, missing home, being magnanimous. He may not follow up on this, but he did. I landed back into Bombay, he called my father and he said, I will give your son dates in October 1997. I started the schedule of my film on the 21st of October 1997. And he stuck to his word. He didn't know anything about what I was writing or developing. He had tremendous faith in me. I still don't know why. Uh, I have no clue, but I am so grateful that he had that faith in me. Because, my God, there's nothing better in the world that I would have done than make movies. I and mean, where, else, where else can you sing, dance? Where else can you sing, dance, laugh and cry and still be at work? I'm obsessively in love with the movies and I'm so glad I'm doing what I'm doing. And so thank you, Sharo. Thank you, Bhai. Thank you for just making it all happen for me. And Kuch Kuch Hota will always remain like my most special experience. I think everything about it is just the way it was developed and written and finally I had the most wonderful. I mean, I remember casting Rani's role and nine heroines said no to me. Uh, one of them being Tabu in the front row. <laughs> and, and, and she still hasn't fulfilled my deep desire of working with her, which I hope to make happen very soon. And eventually when nine girls said, I thought I may have to wear that short skirt and become a <laughs> 
finally, ironically, Aditya Chopra and Shah Rukh Khan both recommended a girl called Rani Mukherjee. And I'm so glad that it all eventually worked out. But when I look back at that film, I just feel that that film thrives on innocence and conviction, both of which I think I may have lost in the last two decades because when you actually make movies for two decades, you do lose your innocence and sometimes even your commercial conviction. But and when I see the flashes of this film, and you know we have celebrated this film recently as well, it makes me realize that you're a filmmaker only when you're innocent, when you're not clouded with other people's thoughts, opinions, and all kinds of things that are said to you, when you really go with your own feeling of innocence, and when you're totally convinced about it, that's what truly makes a solid filmmaker. I hope I can visit that emotion again. I hope I can create this magic on celluloid again. And I hope I continue to get the love that all of you have for this film in my career. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. You would know you work with everyone from Baz Luhrmann and Sam Mendes to Shekhar Kapoor.
my dungeon six. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. It's the first time. Love you all too, really. Thank you. It's my first time in Australia. Australia, all the people in the government here in Melbourne, thank you for making it possible. And uh, my producers, my director Sriram, thank you for writing this character for me. Ajit, Vyakom, Sanjay Rautri, my producer, my wonderful co actor Ayushman is not here, and all the amazing actors that were part of Andhadun who made it possible, the entire team. and. Uh, I want to thank everybody who has given uh, uh, so much love to Andhadun uh, in India and uh, around the world and I'm so happy and uh, proud to be part of a film that continues to be uh, part of conversations uh, even almost a year after it released. I'm really really proud about that and uh, thank you Sriram for writing a character that will, uh, that has been a catalyst for change and for the way roads for women are being written and will be written in the future. Thank you so much for entrusting me with this panel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very good performance. I don't know who I can request, but if they can play one of my songs, I'd like to dance with them. I can help you. He is a doctor. Did you know that? Oh, good, good. He's also a knight. Okay. He's not an astronaut, but he owns land on the moon. On Mars. It's, it's a very special area and he owns many acres on the sea of tranquility. It is the most sought-after address on the moon. Mm. He, you know, in, in Paris, they, they created a perfume and named it after him. Did you know that? Okay. The Paris Museum issued 
gold coins with his image and his name. Did you know that? It was a very limited edition. So if you would like to buy it now, it's worth a fortune. And talking about fortunes, he is richer than Tom Cruise. <laughs> and Brad Pitt. <laughs> and Tom Hanks. <laughs> and George Clooney. <laughs> and Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> But our man is a philanthropist and he's a humanitarian. He has the generous heart of a king. Actually, he is a king. <laughs> and the kingdom he rules over spreads far and wide across the globe. It's called Bollywood. That's right. So, for the modern young lover in DDLJ, for the classic lover in Devdas, for the hockey coach in for the life coach in Zindagi, for the autistic Rizwan, and for the 87 films which made us fall in love with him. 87 times. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my proud privilege to present to you the winner of the IFFM Excellence in Cinema 2019 Award to... <laughs>
Lead out to you guys. First of all, it genuinely is an honor and a privilege for me to receive this award. Uh, in a way, I think it's odd to have such awards in the first place. Because acting is an art form, and the idea that an art form can somehow be judged for its quality is, in a sense, counterintuitive, I feel. Art is an expression in whichever form it is presented to the world. In cinema, it is the ability to create shared emotions and interpret experiences through stories and images. To be an actor, as a lot of my colleagues here, um, some wonderful actors. I think uh, what Karan was talking about, you have to be innocent. And I think that innocence, that simplicity is something I cherish. Having been here in Melbourne, once again, 12 years later, uh, the simplicity of it all, that all of you are present here cheering us on, loving me so much. And, uh, more than, and seriously, more than uh, you know, any individual capacity as a star, I cherish the fact that in spite of convoluted plots like good do, you still love me so much. <laughs> so, I, guess, I guess this is very pure and innocent. I want to thank Meetle. I want to, um, I want to thank the Melbourne, uh, the Indian Film Festival of Melbourne. I want to thank all the dignitaries, uh, the Indian Council people, all of you here who spent hours sitting here. And you know, since I was leaving India, I was made to understand how forward everyone is looking to me being here. And I really cherish this one. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I, I, I also know all this should be simple. Uh, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm counting, I'm counting. I, I, about, I, uh, so, 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 so let me just say, I understand simple. So the speech is over and done with. I genuinely meant every word that I said. I want to thank everyone, all the wonderful colleagues and actors who are present here, and all the producers, filmmakers, some lovely stuff we saw here. The jury members, um, the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra, who did a great job, thank you so much. Um, and I know it has to be simple. You've come here to be entertained. You've not come here to hear speeches from me. So, so, <clears throat> for the right side girls, then the middle side girls, <coughs> this one, this one is just for you. Please don't scream in the middle. Uh, do it at the climax. <laughs> that didn't come out right. No. <laughs> so, here goes, here goes for the ladies uh, on the right. I <coughs> मेरे नैना मेरी नैना को ढूंढते हैं तुम उसे प्यार करते हो पागल पर या दिल की धड़क एक ही बात है मैं तुम्हें जिंदगी भर प्यार करूंगा मैं तुम्हें मरते दम तक प्यार करूंगा सो ऑल द गर्ल्स इन द मिडल नाउ बड़े-बड़े शहरों में ऐसी छोटी-छोटी बातें All the girls on the left. Abhi jaan ke thi. Sorry, wrong time. This is this is for this young gentleman here who's been keeping us company throughout the evening. Just for you, sir. Abhi jaan ke thi thi. Koi bhi dhanda chhoda ya bada nahi hota. Ab dhanda se bada koi dhan nahi hota. Ab to mere saath ghari chalna hai. Okay, for all the girls here, they have asked. Don't come back, Balash, Karne ko pita. 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 Don't come back, Balash, Karne ko all the film fraternity people have been waiting with such patience. Thank you all the jury members for watching the film. And uh, once again, uh, Simi just said this, uh, all of us have been feeling this sitting here. We genuinely are the most loving audience that I've experienced in my life. May you all, may all you be happy. 
be very happy. May Allah bless you. I promise you that I will keep on trying to entertain you for as long as I live. Thank you so much everyone, thank you very much, thank you for this lovely evening, thank you everyone on stage, thank you so much sir.